Earlier, we also talked and we said if anyone steps into the uh, political ring and tries to challenge President Trump as far as being the Republican nominee for 2024, we feel like it's political suicide. This is his party. This is his race to run. President Trump is the people's choice. He's the one that we elected in 2016. We reelected him in 2020 and we will elect him in 2024. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And you know, every time I hear Marjorie Trainwreck Green speak, my ears start to ring, and this is no exception. Her aggressive love for Donald Trump is so disgusting. And now that she's getting divorced, I guess she could try and, I don't know, marry him. He loves having people around that just inflate his ego all the time. What we need in this country, Brian, is we need strong Republican governors like Ron DeSantis. We need strong Republican governors. We need Carrie Lake to win in Arizona. We need strong Republican governors to fight, stay in for eight years and save their states, not to abandon their states and try to run for president or any other big position. Her devotion to Trump is so blinding for her that she will risk lawsuits and her literal job to keep on his good side. And for those that are unaware of her background, she got to literally step into office barely unchallenged. My message is for everyone, anyone that's considering running uh, for president in 2024 against President Trump, Please support President Trump because we need him back in the White House. It's his his policies that all of these people support and get over the mean tweets. I hope they're coming back as soon as possible. Tom Graves left his seat in 2019. And wouldn't you know it, Marjorie just got to jump from a QAnon subscribed bored housewife into a seat in the House just like that. Her Democratic opposition resigned from the race due to personal reasons that may have had something to do with running against a full-on psychopath and that fear of bodily injury that she so happily promotes. And one more thing on that, you lucky people here in Alabama might get a knock on your door because I hear Alabama might be one of the most unvaccinated states in the nation. <laughs> well, Joe Biden wants to come talk to you guys. <laughs> He's going to be sending one of his police state friends uh, to your front door to knock on the door, take down your name, your address, your family members' names, your phone numbers, your cell phone numbers, probably ask for your social security number and whether you've taken the vaccine or not. Yeah, well, what they don't know is in the South, we all love our Second Amendment rights. And we're not real big on strangers showing up on our front door, are we? They might not like the welcome they get. Another fun fact on Marjorie Trainwreck Green, in a New Yorker article from 2020, she had no issue seemingly threatening a journalist saying, let me be clear with you, writing defamatory articles about me is a very bad choice. So her admiration for Donald Trump comes from both a deranged place and common ground on being pretty open to the idea of political violence, as if we need more crazy than we already have to deal with. Folks in Georgia, you guys have the opportunity to get this person out of office. I hope that you do so. And if you're from her district, comment below and tell us why she doesn't represent you. In the meantime, let's hope Marjorie can get her wish and share a jail cell with Trump before they try and burn the country to the ground. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.